Welcome back to the University of Queensland School of Architecture introductory videos to Rhino and Grasshopper. We're going to pick up the example tower and we're going to start building the lift cores off to the side as per our initial sketch. Earlier on I had developed up a variable core routine and I'm going to copy that. Control C and go back to come on go back to my tower design I'm working to stage four there we go and I'm going to control V paste that in and it always arrives at the top left corner where we cut it from which is a little bit annoying but anyway and I'm going to use that as the starting point I'll get rid of some of this information just through here because I'm reasonably familiar how this is working and ostensibly this whole routine builds off a single point so if we just for the argument's sake just pull this point in through here it's, uh, it's doing basically as it's told we've got the the variable towers coming through here, the core length and the core width, the floor to floor and the levels. But see we need to actually dial in the floor to floor levels according to our overall routine which is so the floor to floor is over here. So that goes into there. There's nothing else on that and we're going to have to do the levels as well where are we through here and the levels are going into here and where's our floors gone again through here and into here so that's now redundant. Okay, so we've plugged in our new routine. I'll ungroup this so we can pull this across to here and eventually line up with the rest of our parameters. And I'll give ourselves a bit more space, move it over here. Now immediately, although it's working, it's kind of not working as we want it to because we can see if we tip it up through here, it's working from this point and moving that way. So I guess in the first instance what we want to do is flip this around so that it's actually working on this side. So in the first instance I guess what we can do is start playing around with these translation vectors to get our geometry working a little differently. So I'm going to change this to a unit Y for now and I'm going to change so that will come in of the core length into Y. We'll delete that and that will change that to a unit X. That'll be our width through there and we'll move that as a translation vector through there. So what we've got now is three cores. Um, they're the right orientation but they're crashing into each other there so we're going to have to change that to a unit X and what that will do is it'll give us in the right direction through there. So we're kind of getting close. Now if we wanted to move this out, the core out to here, I guess a simple way would be to give ourselves a negative value through here, pop that into there and move that over to there and that will pop out our cores in that way. So we've got our three cores set up on the outside of the the building but not quite in the right way because what we want to do is we want to step the cores in a complementary way with this uh, raking facade whereas at the moment they're kind of going in that direction. So I guess if we do another little sneaky negative value 
in here somewhere. So if we put a double click and negative through there, pop that there and pop that there, they're raking the right way but they're not kind of engaged with the building in the correct way. So I guess one thing that we could do is if we look at the the seed point through there, perhaps what we could do is move that seed point over to there. So that would be then the south west corner. So defining the southwest corner. So if we pull this all the way down to here, pop that there instead, then we've got them kind of in the right in the right location, but we need to set that in this direction then and that we would do here. So if we put a negative value through here everything goes orange because it's not got the right information. Now what we have is our lift cores engaging with the building in the correct way. Now for the sake of the exercise demonstrating that how tools can be sort of copied and pasted and reasonably easily fired to suit different circumstances we'll call it a day there but in the video that follows this what we're going to start to do is is look at other um, aspects to this one which is to include the the floors for each level and to perhaps introduce uh, another variable because at the moment the way that these cores are engaging here it's a bit of a problem because you can see there there's an overlap between the height of the core and where the chamfer is so perhaps what we might do is is establish a way of pushing this or putting a variable to push this in and out and also what we'll do is that we might disengage the cores and put a little bit of a gap between them so the cores stand as an independent element from the rest of the building because at the moment it's it's not looking really that crash hot with it stuck up against the building there but anyway we'll pick that up in the next video and we'll see how we go